Hello, hello, welcome to the Trash Picture Show. This morning I woke up to find the postman had left me this in the mail. I have been waiting ages for this figure. I am very excited about it. It is the NECA Armored Assassin Predator from the Predator movie. Now, the name kind of got me for a loop because in most of the promotional material he was called the Upgrade. But keep in mind, a lot of info and kind of behind the scenes stuff was sent to NECA before the movie was released. Henceforth, how we got the Emissary Predators. So, I think originally he was going to be called the Armored Assassin. So, let's have a look at the box. The box is pretty awesome. I love this artwork here. This artwork is actually from a Chinese poster, movie poster. And it was featured in the cinemas in Asia. I think both China and Japan had the same poster. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You have the fugitive facing off against the armored assassin and the arc ship in the corner there. And just the battle at Stargazer Base. Really, really nice kind of artwork. Love this box. It's it's big. It's much bigger than the prior boxes. That's why it's I'm kind of finding it hard to fit into the, uh, the screen. Because the figure is 11 inches. Unlike his 8 inch brethren. Obviously to try and be in scale with the other predators in the series. Really nice box. Really cool art on the back. We have more pictures of the armored assassin in different poses. And the blurb about the movie. Again it's a deluxe edition collector friendly box. So you can open it. There's a window there. So yeah. Really nice box. But let's get on to the meat and veg of the review. And that is... This guy, this guy is awesome. Now, I switched the heads when uh, I got him because I really like the open maw kind of head. Really nice rotation in the head. Very cool. Can go back and forth, can go up and down. Can get really nice poses into him there. Uh, he's very heavy as well. Keep in mind, this is an 11 inch figure. So there's a lot more plastic than the 8 inch kind of figure. And really nice detailing. I think... As a, a friend of mine from Twitter said, Monty G, he said the actual action figure looked a lot better than what we got in the movie. I, I'm i kind of in two minds. In some of the scenes, he looked really, really good. In others, he looked kind of shit. But um, I think they should have gone with a combination of both practical and CG. I, I think the over-reliance on CG ruined the character. I do know that there was going to be a, 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 either a puppet or a, a maquette or even a guy in a costume and they're going to use forced perspective. But um, in the end, they opted for CG because they wanted them to be a bit more dexterous. But I think that was kind of a, a, a bit of a, a, a flaw in, in the movie, having him having him totally CG. Uh, again, really nice figure. The arms can't really raise too much because he's got these kind of shoulder pads here. But uh, yeah, really nice design. Kind of this real heavy armored kind of skin and texture. Like much like the movie, he's he's kind of he doesn't need any armor because he's this upgraded predator. He's got like what would I call it? Basically, you've got uh, uh, an exoskeleton like a xenomorph underneath that can come out during battle he's got two gauntlets here uh, I'll show you some stuff with the gauntlets in a bit uh, his tunic uh, he's he's got like legs there that are nice rotation in the legs now there is an issue with the legs and I'll get to that in a second but yeah there's some really good rotation in the legs you can get a nice bit of posing and uh, yeah it, it, he's pretty cool arms you can get some nice Rotisserie posing and you can bend them and such for it. Really cool. But uh, the biggest kind of Achilles heel, ironically, is actually his his legs. You have this massive 11 inch figure and then you have these these little kind of legs here. These almost cloven hoofed legs. Now he does have feet like that in the movie. But I think maybe they should have done a bit of a cheat. And had maybe some an extra bit of plastic there. Because they're just so small. They're just so hard to try and try and balance him. I mean, he's 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 not easy to balance. And the weight of him, the weight of him does not play well. For example, I even put him on a a, a kind of stand here. I have one of these necker stands here. Hopefully I'll do it. I cracked it 
because he is so bloody heavy but uh, he can just about stand on that I think NECA maybe should have included a claw stand with him see just getting him to stand is, is a pain in the arse I did get him to stand earlier on but it's just you have to do a bit of foostering with him to, to, to get him to uh to get him to stand right and even then even then it's 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 a bit of a struggle to get him to stand I'm just gonna try and get him standing there again uh okay. I think I'm fighting a losing battle here guys and I, okay he's kind of standing there or is he drunk uh see yeah it's just it's just it's it's really trepidatious trying to get him to stand in that so I, I genuinely think that NECA kind of dropped the ball with the design of the feet and even if they wanted to go with that design I wish they'd included a uh, a claw kind of stand for him because even even the peg stands uh, struggle to hold him but that's that's that said he's still a really nice figure uh, I just think not including a peg stand when he has feet like this is a major oversight what else does he come with? Well, he also comes with this head here. This is the secondary head. Really nice design. Some almost bulldog-like. I do like. Really nice detail. I still prefer the open maw head. He also comes with two fists. If you want to have him, like, punch the shit out of another predator. Just those really cool bald fists. Like, even his knuckles... Even his knuckles are designed to be lethal. He's got like these spiked knuckles. And weapons. He has this very long single wrist blade. Which I will put in here and show you. Just here it goes. It fits nicely and snugly in there. Uh, okay. Gotta get it in. So yeah, it fits nicely and snugly into his hand there. So you can you can have it like that, rotate it, and he comes with these two tins. Now, this is basically the laser cannon when it's closed. Let's put that in. I'll show you this going in here. So that's when the laser cannon is closed when he's not using it, and then we have this one here. So this is. Use it out and using it. I think I have it backwards now. Yeah, there. So yeah, there's a bit of there's a nice bit of rotation in that, so you can you can bend it and put it forward. But yeah, really nice figure. Um, dear enough, I got him for sixty, which was actually the cheapest he was going for at the time. But uh if 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 you are a collector and you 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 want to get yourself something different. This guy's definitely one to pick up. I will tell you, standing him is a pain in the arse. So, um, he's he's pretty cool, but I just I think the the, the having having an issue with the uh, standing him, especially with his feet. I mean, like he's so heavy, he cracked. He literally cracked. He cracked the display stand. But uh, I I think they should have maybe given him. Uh, a, a claw stand uh, included because just the feet are a pain in the arse so if you are getting them do invest in a claw stand or something a bit more durable than the uh, the clear uh, melamine uh, neck stands so yeah what did you think uh, guys do you have this figure do you think you'll get this figure did you like him in the movie do you think he was stupid in the movie um, and what do you call him do you call him the upgrade or do you call him the Armoured Assassin? Uh, leave your thoughts and comments uh, below. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Bye now.